Welcome, Assassins, to this week's episode of Assassins and Dragons. I am Magnus Beastacus, your dungeon master for the evening, joining me as our adventurers on this adventure. To my right, your left. Maximus Dominus, level eight. Bing! Barbarian Goliath. Hmm. Oh, how many do you have Thousand. living? Uh, I play Bark here. Male Asimov. Yes. Clerical who does the main. I play. Mm. <laughs> and I am Enzer. I play as Tim, a level 8 wild mage. Dorgar. Dwarf! Is that everyone? <laughs> that's, yeah. that's everybody important. I'll just leave. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Uh, I'm Luna, <laughs> and I play Funky Beerbot, a level 8 mountain dwarf druid. Female. Female. <laughs> um, male? When last we left our adventurers, they were making their way through the Incender Forest, a forest of huge proportions in almost every aspect with a canopy made seemingly entirely of flames. They ran into Yurg, a green dragonborn, who lost all of his companions while also on the way to Ildfell, the land of the giants. Teaming up with Yurg, they made their way even deeper into the forest and up the mountain after being, or, and then were ambushed by a giant tribal black figure. Having driven this figure away uh, successfully via an, an illusion due to Tim's making, um, they are now licking their wounds as the battle proved to be quite deadly. And this is where we pick up now. The leaves still falling from the the, the ever-present flaming canopy above you, just slowly trickling down. The giant hollowed out tree that you uh, are now very experienced inside and outside of uh, it is right next to you, and the giant has run away. You, you guys are, are now gathered Quenzel. around the is unconscious form or of Quenzel, very beaten up, I'm limbs broken, uh, uh, definitely dislocated, very obviously dislocated in certain areas. Like, his, his no neck is turned in the dry. I mean, even for a bird, it's like, wow, that is out of place. How long has it been since he died? You don't know. He's not dead yet. He's unconscious. All the okay, so... Oh, hey, he perfectly makes it. Makes <laughs> it. No, like, he, he, he rolled a ten. There's one. And then, as you guys are all putting your fingers to your chin in debate uh, around... resurrect him another time? This is his third no, death. you jumped into one of oh, the... Oh, guys, the not fought in the tree of your sort of like feathered comrade here. You're just going to let him uh, die. I'm going to use a uh, cure wounds on him. No, you didn't. Tim was on your... Why you guys really remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I just don't remember what happened to... Yeah, it will. Uh, the giant grabbed him, pulled him, ran away with him, came back, uh, and then dropped him as Tim. Uh, the last person. Filled the giant's mind. I guess you can use my... <laughs> Say that, yeah, the there's no way you're using th these dice are not being doubled up. The unconscious form of five. Quenzel. <laughs> uh, five points of health <laughs> back to <laughs> Quenzel. Uh, definitely dislocated. Very obvious. Uh, whoa, dislocated put it back where it needs to go. Like his, his neck. Get the money for it. Even for a bird, it's like, wow, that is out of place. Yeah. You don't know. All right, five points back yet. to uh, Quenzel as you uh, oh, hey, bend bro. down and um, <laughs> sew his wounds with your no, magical like he energy. Ah! Uh, where? He, he, was, he was taking me away. Oh, such powerful fingers. Crush the life out of me. Always so loud. Quenzel, shut up. <laughs> Is he still go. around? Is he still around? Yeah, he's coming. Shh, shh, shh. Let's go. 
pat him on the shoulder and just say, welcome back. <laughs> I can't say it's good to be back. Welcome back. <laughs> Back, back nonetheless. As we continue. Move, uh, <laughs> Ildfell awaits us, and Yurg starts walking off up, up the mountain in no specific direction other than up. Was that the direction we were headed last time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Okay. Follow. Uh, can Quinzel walk? Uh, Quinzel can, but he's he's definitely sort of like grabbing on uh, Varkir's arm. Up the arm up. On my shoulder. Oh! Yes, to be elevated. Once huh. again. I'll be after her check in the marching order. And you can... Uh, it's a little bit harder to walk. Normally, like, this weight won't do much for you, but he's got his wings fully unfeathered, and he's just, like, zoning out in the air. <laughs> uh, a lot of drag. A is, lot. Is what it's, is what it's <laughs> you run fast enough, you can fly. As, uh, Trust I will me. chop Trust me. those arms off. Please. Put them down. <laughs> Chicken wings. <laughs> Chicken. It's like a, it's like I'm carrying you for your it's benefit. Oh, just, let, just let me indulge a little while longer. And it's been long. Okay. <laughs> um, you guys continue to walk up the mountain. Are you guys doing anything in particular? Anything special? Uh, yeah. yeah. We should probably Perception go. checking because fuck giants. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and, and uh, roll a perception check. To... Ah, that's a bona fide one. It's because uh, this is my wild uh, magic uh, dice. Quetzal, do you want to die again? Why? Well, uh, no, no. There's no part of me that wants to go back there. But if I do, don't bring me back. Just leave me. Okay, be on the lookout though. Okay. We're in a higher position. Ooh, 19. Nice. Um, what am I looking for? <laughs> Obviously <laughs> giants. <laughs> and if you see the those flames, are we looking for those uh, the flames from the leaves that are coming down the path? Quetzal. Quetzal. It's Quetzal. Quetzal. I've said both, <laughs> but it's Quetzal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I was... We're looking for pretzels. We're looking for pretzels. Pretzels! <laughs> All right. With a natural 19, you see a, a, a sack, a satchel, just filled with pretzels. On a dead person. Don't trust. Does it have cheese in it? That's a 20. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> yeah, a 20. Would have been a 20. No, uh, giants, uh, <laughs> more of those maggots, the big ball sounds, horrible sounds. Um, he, uh... He goes, I, I, I hear that terrible thumping noise again. And as you guys start to pay attention, you also hear... Doof, 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 doof. How far out? Where, where is it coming from? Uh, he points up the mountain and to the left. Um, and you see just a, sh- a shadow sort of pass over your face. And after looking at it again... I look for holes. Something to... I, I, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, roll, yeah, roll a perception check. And, uh, Quetzal goes, Are we afraid of these guys? And it's another roly-poly. Just about, like, 50 yards to the left, going in a completely different trajectory from you guys. Yes and no. Be on the lookout, but they haven't attacked us yet. Okay. I did roll a one before, so maybe I... You guys realize Tim is missing, and then you look behind you, and he's actually walking down the mountain. <laughs> he's like, "Come Tim, on, guys, we gotta Tim, go up." Tim, that's right. Yeah, but uh, you see those grab, holes back there. Grab onto my butt. <laughs> Ooh, I can't pass on that. Uh, as you as you plant your feet, and her chick just walks and just <laughs> sliding along. Because <laughs> um, we, we should talk to her. Uh, you just go, Yer, what if you know if you fell? I honestly do not know much. Only what that treacherous Goliath told us. Really only directionally at first. But he did say that 
they use the power of electricity to power many ancient artifacts. Hmm. They seem to have an affinity towards the electrical elements. Do you know anybody in the city? That I've never seen in the city before. I've never been there. No I doubt that this went. Goliath even was there. Acquaintance, bar, drink, the buddy. Got any friends here? Don't we'll touch me. Don't there. you? Don't touch me. Okay. We're not allowed. What were the rest of your body's skills, I guess? Ah, uh, of various nature in the. Sorry, of various functions of the discerning nature. We had a botanist, my, myself, and an, an archaeologist. We had many different cultural analysis specialties. But no fighters. Our security, our guards escorting us all died horribly in the ambush. A lesson next time to maybe have more than three. <laughs> three. <laughs> protecting a group of seven strong. <laughs> Uh, that's, yeah, that's a pretty good amount. Uh, I've been traveling to Ildfell, <laughs> mm. a land of giants. Poor. Three men taking on three giants. No. <laughs> three men taking on one giant. No. We took on a giant. Did Mark here in this. Give my friend away. <laughs> what a bitch. I hope he comes back. In this instant, you are right. We were found lacking, Varkir. We should not have underestimated the outside world as much as we did. I think there's a saying, always expect the unexpected. You should probably take that and put it in your toolbox. There's only so much you can expect. No, I'm just filled with Unexpectable evils. Unknown, unknowns. There are no knowns. <laughs> I have a question. How do you take down a giant? Or is there a more peaceful route that we should be approaching? None of us specialized in the matter. I mean, you know, I could we were not planning skill. An insurgency or an attack or any sort of offensive maneuvers against the giants of Yildfell. We only merely wanted to study them, extend our hand, learn from them, and share knowledge potentially. Well, is there any way to communicate with them? They don't speak giant. I know giant. Oh. I just didn't know <laughs> that tribesmen, whatever that black one is. <laughs> that one seemed hard pressed for any sort of formal communication. I can glean information off of items, historical artifacts, or even the plants of the area, but I cannot glean information off of somebody who mindlessly rambles and has the stench of blood on them. Are most giants violent creatures? My only experience with them has been 100% violent, but I would say to judge an entire species off of one interaction is premature. Uh, anybody else got any questions? Yeah, I do. Funky. <laughs> Is that cask filled with anything? No, Quentin's no. thirsty. Quentin. Needs courage. Oh, all right. Okay. I'm paving the way here. You're not, are you going first? Technically, I'm on. I'm on big man's shoulders right now. Her, her check. Walk backwards. <laughs> this this so gray backwards. goose is taking me all the way up the mountain. You're a gray goose now. <laughs> I am gray. But then I would like to like try to jump and like give it to him so then like some of it is spilling on her chick. 
Roll a performance check. <laughs> that's, that's specific and rude. <laughs> Natural 20! Wow. <laughs> when it counts. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Crack? You spill. It, 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 it spills in, like, her check's not wearing much, Slips. but it spills in uh, the, such a manner to where it, like, gets underneath the fur of his armor, and it, like, slides down his back and gets inside of his crack, <laughs> and, like, it's beer, too, so it's all, like, sticky. So, like, every step he takes thereafter, you just hear, like... <laughs> <laughs> Shape it? <laughs> yeah. Um, definitely after about 15 minutes of that inconvenience, you are... What am I, exhausted? You take Mildly. three points of shape oh damage. Oh my god. <laughs> shape damage. I'm sorry. With a natural shape 20. Shape damage is real. Shape take down the best. Damage. You thought that your years and years of, of navigating the Gragnar Mountains and uh, uh, hiking all throughout the lands with your tribe got rid of all of the chaffage, but it now reasserts More like itself. Her More chafed. <laughs> Always expect Thanks, the unexpected. Thanks, right? I'm really feeling it. And I just go. With Quenzel? Yeah. You just drop him off? Yeah. I'm, I'm in an uncomfortable I'll do spot. A, can I do one of those things where I like, kind of catch him? So, like, my arms go under his. Uh, go put, roll it. Roll a uh, an acro- or a dexterity check. It's just straight dexterity. I think I uh, have full cool person, but I don't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> do I got gotcha. you! And and I gesture a spell. Right, what did what did you get, Lucky? Fifteen. Um, combined with with Quenzel's roll, yeah, he sort of like flaps his wings out really quickly just before you catch him to so just sort of lighten the load. And he raises his his glass. Not a drop spilt. <laughs> As he drinks it in, and he makes eye contact with you, her check. I mean, from that one, uh, seems you can walk now. <laughs> and I continue. It looks like you can make the perception checks now. I'm gonna walk. What's right behind? Perception check. Please, Mister Shield. I'm gonna tell. Him. You can spread there's there's no spread. there's no point of view that can trick Quenzel in into being a shield for you. That's it's right, it's I'm it listening. turns into very quickly turns into a game of like shuffling <laughs> yeah. like you first. You first. No, <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 until you're out of the battlefield. It's yeah. like my arms around his shoulders and I'm just like this. And I'm like walking slightly diagonally with him. It's just an uncomfortable thing. And then he'll just slowly like roll his shoulder and go on the other side <laughs> of your arm and start walking next to you. Uh, okay, so... Huh? What would you say? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> actually, uh, Thunky, roll a perception check. Over 20. Um, okay, you actually... Yurik has taken up a position sort of in the back, and you hear just sort of rumblings to himself as he's like looking down um, and he opens up a portion of his uh, his um, how's it called again? Uh, his robe. Uh, his robe. Uh, he opens up like the mid portion of his robe and looks inside as he's muttering to himself. You guys just continue to walk up. Can I slip to the back and be like, are you okay here? Are you injured? <clears throat> I'm fine, Thunky. Thank you for your regard, but everything is fine back here. I just need to make it to Ildfell, and all will be right. You cursed? Cursed? No, of you course user? not. Are you doing drugs? Is that for the users? <laughs> I've never tried a drug in my entire life. I don't plan on starting now. Why, you want some drugs? <laughs> Not now. When we get to town. This cave ship's great. I'm gonna really walk forward to you. I'm gonna add like to like... If I were a cat, I'd keep the beer back. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Sure. Um... As you guys continue to walk forward, are you guys doing anything <laughs> special? 
on your way? You said that you guys have been uh, ascending this mountain for about two and a half hours at this point with various different um, large bassy sounds uh, happening ever so often far off into the distance. I'm looking for uh, we'll go with caves, but like dugouts um, along the way. Like, oh, there's a good spot. We pass it. And I look for the next one as we're walking. Mm. Can I look at, can you see, can you see like the rest of like the, um, the mountain range? Can we look like behind us? Like, are we looking like out into an open area like we're like the like the valleys below us, or we're just looking into the trees? You're just looking into trees. So the trees are so tall and so vast that you still haven't gotten to a point where you are higher than even the a tree, tree line. Below. Yeah, the tree line. Oh, wow, okay. Then, uh, I guess I'll just uh, keep a lookout for, well, actually, I guess I'll keep a lookout for any signs of yeah, the, uh, the giants coming back. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll a perception check. And what were you looking for specifically, Tim? Caves, dugouts, digouts. I mean, it, it's it's a, uh, <laughs> caves as well as just a safe place yeah, to uh, to run to when or if there is a sign of danger. So I roll uh, also a seven. Yeah. Uh, perception check. Ten. That's what I got. Ten. Um, you guys are still passing sort of scenes of decimation and um, gore, uh, as you'll see people pinned to uh, different trees as well, people bisected, various different races, you even come across um, a section of goliaths as well. And Can I inspect in, those bodies? Sure. What are you looking for? See what tri- yeah, they have any like uh, like symbols, markings of like what tribe they belong to, or if they had any like uh, ceremonial daggers or smart weapons, gold. You know. Okay, is that a, is Eight. that a seventeen or that is a seventeen? But if it's a investigation check, it is a sixteen. Uh, it is investigation. Um, okay, so what you notice is that the they they're similar markings as to the. Oh, wait, no, it's just sent. Oh. Uh, it's to the... Uh, similar markings to the giant that Varkir brought back to life that was mixed with the Warforged. Um, the, the giants that belonged to the Land Reapers uh, that you remember. Sort of also uh, has a... This tribe has a similar um, reputation as what you've what you experienced from that other giant, the actual giant. More so that they're just crazed and bent off of almost a, pu- a drive purely to destroy yeah. or just like rend the entire band. Um, though these giants seem to have fallen into the same, uh, sorry, not giants, Goliath seem to have fallen into the same amount of mutilation as everyone else. Uh, what you do notice is that sticking in one of the giant's legs um, pinning it to the ground, you see it's almost like frozen in this position of horror, is a, a bone shard similar to what was stuck in the, the skin of the, the black tribal figure. Ooh. The giant black tribal figure. I would like to point them. Tim, come here, for, come here for a second. Come check this out. Uh, Walk here, you too. Okay. Thank you, Chip. <laughs> well, maybe you know. Thank you. Yeah, well, let's all come Can over I here. Come Everybody over. come over. Yeah. Wetzel, Wetzel be on the lookout. Right. What do we got? <laughs> got this bone sticking out of this leg. Do you sense anything from it, any of you? Hold on. I, I, I go up to it. Sniff, lick, bite it. Sniff, like, bite it? Sniff, lick, bite. It's kind of like what you do on it's social okay. channels to get more followers. The caves to grab. Okay, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Oh, actually, hold on. Twenty-six licks. Twenty-six licks. Let's see, what would this be? Uh, Roll an arcana check. Meaningful interactions. Hold on. Hold up. 
15. Uh, you immediately notice that this is an enchantment of a weakening sort. Uh, based off of the runes inscribed and uh, purely what it has been used for, um, possibly you encountered something similar in, in your caves from one of the more uh, inclined towards evil denizens. Uh, but yeah, essentially it, it acts as a siphon and like a... It has to do with just weakening the life force, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, of the person that is pinned. Alright, well, uh, I don't quite recognize it, but I definitely get the sense that it's not good. Nope. And it's... Feel, it makes me feel weak. Mm. Okay. And okay. it's it's still got its enchantment. And it still works. You can tell that it's like items similar. This has a, a charge to it. So it's like the time has certainly passed since when it's been used to the time that it has recharged. We should definitely okay. keep this for another giant. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. It, would it make sense to me to, like, in, copy down the, the rune inscription? Uh, like, yeah. Would I, I'd say it does, yeah. For sure. Sense. Okay. Um, I would write that down for sure. Pluck it out? Yeah. Tim, do you think it's safe to pull out? Yeah, yeah. I'll pull it out. Will of strength. Check. Wow, yeah. It, um... You do notice when you pull it out that it would be... Like, it took yeah, a little bit fine. more grip um, than you were originally expected because it, it extended longer than what had seen. Like, it extended almost six inches into the ground below through this Goliath's uh, meat. So it's about, like, a, a <laughs> This whole conversation is just a giant, that's what she was saying. Wow, I had to have not <laughs> I even... Was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was just in the... I couldn't handle yeah. it. It just yeah, kept yeah, yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool, all right. Six wow. Of <laughs> it's I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't believe that nobody else Well, you, yeah, you are about six day. inches deep now. Is yep. it safe to pull out? Yeah, you can <laughs> <laughs> You thought it would grip tighter, but it's actually just six inches deeper in the room. Wow, Guy I like how none of the males Whoa. here went in that direction. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> Louder, Rummy. Louder. Mm. Louder. Um, oh, yeah, Mike's so picked it up. <laughs> it's, uh... It's it's pulsing, veiny <laughs> piece of wood uh, discharges its energy uh, just before you can pull out. Now you're worried that the leg might um, be preggers. But anyway, so yeah, you, you pull it out. It's longer than you thought. Uh, <laughs> and now I don't know how to it not be like in a, it's a big piece of bone, right? It's like a very, it's, a, it's almost like a tooth uh, piece of bone. It's just like a a ripped apart shard of bone that arcs and comes to a point. Hmm. That makes sense. And there are, like, it's definitely not um, elegantly inscribed. It's almost like somebody just, like, carved, like, mindlessly, yeah, 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 ripped uh, the the runic carving inside of it. Uh, did you get the, no, Tim, did you write it down, what these things are? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I, 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 go, I walk over to Barkir, like, this is kind of something up your alley, maybe. It's a bone. A what bone. does it look like specifically? I'm having a hard time picturing like that. Uh, just how, picture how, a tooth. We'll just make it easy. Picture, right, picture, like, picture how, like a, a 13 inch arcing tooth. It's so like a foot, yeah. a foot and an inch? Yeah. Okay. I want to do something. Alright, then I guess I will nope. take it. Ah. Oh, okay. Can I just can I hold it for you? I got a cool idea. Does it involve poop? <laughs> No. Your butt. That's weird. You being naked. <laughs> I'd never. Just give it to me. I'm gonna fix it into my beard. Never mind. <laughs> okay. I guess I just put this on the side of my backpack and tie it, tie it, tie it there. <laughs> Can I hold it? No. no. I need payback. 
Payback. Payback for what? He he points to his shoulder that's still a like a little dagger. bit lower than it should be. <laughs> Are you breathing? Are you breathing right now? Well, did I, that cost something? You're welcome. You saved me. But they hurt Quenzel. And Spectromir isn't here to vengeance upon er, upon them for me. Do you think she's still alive? No, in Spectromir, I certainly hope so. Me I, too. I, I I wish it to be. But that lady, she was scary with the blue hair and the blue feather. You think you could kill her? You think you could take her? Easily. She I was a very so. stupid character. <laughs> <laughs> very weak. <laughs> weak minded fool. Yeah. Um, she caught us off guard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she really did. She's still asleep. Um, okay, so you guys continue to progress up the path. Who, you, her check your taking point? Yes. Probably after. Okay, so the. Um, Can I lift that one? Didn't move on my shoulders? Yeah, you know what? It might help me find kids. You guys start to feel um, a, a sense of humidity around you, just like slowly progressing as, as you get farther and farther up, and heat starts to set on as well. And it's weirdly enough the first time that you associate the canopy with an actual danger. Um, it, it almost feels as though you're progressing into an oven, and the closer you get to uh, the top, the, the closer you are to um, actually having to deal with uh, the, the fire that the canopy seems to be projecting. Uh, the, the yellow moss starts to bleed away to um, pure black uh, obsidian stone. Um, and the, the stone starts to progress upward with many different sort of boulders uh, leaning against trees, rocks in, in different areas, whereas there were no huge boulders or pieces of rocks before, now it looks like they're just slowly uh, uh, being uh, scattered about, and the, the farther you go up the mountain, the more of these boulders and rocks present themselves. Um, seeming to be lent, leaning up against uh, some of the trees and like collected together in certain sections. Uh, I would like uh, you to roll a perception check or check. Can I grab some of that moss? Uh, if he wants. Can you grab some of the moss? Yeah, yes. sure. And on top of like me. a little obsidian rock. Is there any like the size of like um, one of those mini watermelons or anything like that? Yeah, they're, they're easy enough to find. They're, they're okay. better around. As well. If you're looking for a specific shape, you may want to... Like I just have like a pure round shape. <laughs> okay, most of them are blocky, like they've been broken apart, but they're, yeah, there's not really any like ovular... As long as, like, as, long as it's like... Just imagine my mace head... If like, he's helping you, you size can... of the obsidian. Okay, um, so... Uh, uh, her check is... <laughs> you gotta take the roll. Okay. Uh, roll. Her check is is uh, making a perception check. You can help. You can help by either rolling your own or giving him advantage. Mm -hmm. I rolled a ten for my first one. Or first one perception. Well, I mean, I just rolled a sixteen. That's an eighteen. <laughs> no, it's a sixteen. You're in my. The spot. rolls keep going too. She's like, I can't fit into 16, this anymore. Four, She's trying to lay 13, down. Fifteen. You take the check. You know. Dang. Explosive flavor. Um. If I roll, isn't that just like him having an advantage? It's the, yeah, it's the, it's the illusion. Yeah. I mean, you're there. trusting your dice to what are my you, dice. What are you looking for? Let me help you. And I, I perk up and do one of these. Hmm. Yeah, it's more so just like the setting is changing, uh, warranting. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. That was a close one. Hey, that's better. Um, you you start to see the hill or the 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 mountain. It certainly still content continues to ascend. There's almost a, a portion uh, that flattens out a little bit, and. Um, 
at this point, you start to see the 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 uh, leaves falling down in a specific um, almost direction again, and it's almost like you can see a line of the leaves about to hit the ground flare up uh, and turn to fire and just disappear as they're going down. I'd like to hold an action, which would be uh, water. I'm gonna I'm gonna point this out to the group and the eyes up. Look at the flames. They've changed. Can I quicken the pace? If you guys want to quicken the pace, yeah. I'll quicken my pace. But I would like to bring out my Is that like a normal pace? You're <laughs> <laughs> like now keeping up, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like to hold the action. Wow, I'm actually pretty fast. Oh, so hot. It's three. Hot. Tidal wave. You know, I... I, I think we can take him if he comes back. Lucky, can, can I get another drink? No, I'm all out. I hear it sloshing around every it's step you lie. take. Keep walking. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have water on me. This is in our normal house, right? Will it get me... Will, <laughs> will it get me... Drunk? <laughs> And We're gonna then, need you for the next battle, courage. Quenzel. I'm gonna need to be courageous. I can spin you now. Soak up damage Liquid like you courageous. did last time. You did well. You died. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I'm yeah. gonna go. I'm starting him. to distrust the relationship that I we have like here. To grab his head and then like basically bring it down and then open my little cast and then just like kind oh, of, kind of drown him. Okay, he, he uses his other hand to like try and grip onto the cask and like oh, 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 get as much as he can. And then I'm gonna bring him back up and slap him in the face. Uh, and it's one of those things where you bring him up and his eyes are like definitely glossed over, and there's like uh, his his fur, well his his feathery cheeks are a little bit more pink now, and a bu- he like and a bubble comes out. <laughs> Just like a cartoon level of drunkness. Goes, oh, where, where are they at? I got them. I used before. to be the sharpest shot in the skies in my day. You give me a bow and arrow and you just let me at them. Give you a bow and arrow? Quetzal. I'm going to make sure he goes first. And then I'm going to be like, you guys, let's, let's get a little space between us. Well, perfectly safe. Just follow me. Bark here. You get up here with me, will you? <laughs> Fuck. You keep me You're safe. You're walking too fast, Quenzel. We can't keep up with you. You better just keep going. <laughs> we'll get to the Quenzel. Go. Here we come. What's, what's going on here? Don't worry about it. We're using him as Um, yeah, I guess I'm good. He's he's like picking up sticks and he's he's like ripping portions off of them, um, and just like he pulls out a tiny little knife and starts carving uh, uh, certain portions of them, and uh, he's doing this all while like stumbling back and forth and with honestly like an an unexpected level of of prowess when he's doing this, um, and uh, you can see that he actually pulls a string off of his waist and he ties it around. Uh, the uh, t- the top end of a stick and the bottom end of a stick and he just like doom 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 he starts playing like a little song on this bow that he made. Um, Quetzal's about to get his giant's about to go down. Squash me, will you? He just keeps stumbling forward, and you guys are rounding uh, the next uh, uh, portion of ascent following these uh, burning leaves. Um, you, it's honestly about half an hour goes by, uh, uh, and Quenzel goes, I see a big scary tree. Huh? I see a big scary tree. And you see him, and he's like 30 yards in front of you guys, and you're just barely hearing his mumbling. Um, and he's, he's like, his shoulders are something a little bit, and he's pointing half-heartedly around the next bend. Um, and he goes, we're going over there. <laughs> Quetzal. 
Quinzel, stop. Get the fucking hold of yourself. What are you doing? Investigation check. Are you gonna go to where? Are you? Well, you guys currently can't see the tree because you guys are like thirty yards behind Quinzel. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Yeah. We're heading over there. And Quinzel starts to like of the small pieces of wood that he started to carve. He's like searching for one for like the the amount of time it takes you to get up to him and he's he he knocks it a little bit and he's you can Not just see him it. like aiming don't let him shoot it and he's like i think i see one over there <laughs> As you, guys, as you guys, are you gonna do something? I'm not near you guys. You guys are the ones who walked up. All right, fuck. Oh, I, I yeah. slap it out of his hand. I just want to take it. Uh, He's really drunk. Yeah, and then you go, hey, and and as you smack it out, uh, your eyes meet what he was looking at, and it is a tree noticeably larger than all of the other ones that you guys have have encountered so far, and around this tree is almost like an entire rock slide. Um, f- uh, fell down and covered the back portion and rocks are spilling out over the sides but you can definitely see a portion of the tree um, in between the rocks, the central portion there is a huge entrance um, and you can see little uh, holes carved out by the trigger worms uh, as well uh, just throughout this and you can um yeah, I would say at about this point, you guys are like 150 yards away, but it looks like an... You can almost see every single detail of this tree. That's how, that's how large it is. Are there any uh, symbols, markings, languages? Go ahead and roll a perception check. Are you guys trying to be stealthy at all? It's eight. Uh, no, you can... You can see uh, on, on either side of the... The, the huge entrance, uh, just like red lights, they could, they look to be possibly brazers. I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, yes, climb my way down her check and then make my way over to Quetzal and, uh, you know, be that, be that good buddy and try to, try to quiet him down. Under, under control. You're, you're, you're I'm just gonna like whisper in his ear, you know. You did, you did a good job. F- find that tree, you know. We would have found it out. Anyway, uh, uh, without you. Um, just uh, time to be quiet now. Okay, drink some more. Roll, yeah, yeah, drink, drink some more. Roll a persuasion check. With advantage? Well, you have to roll past the obstacle. 19. 19? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got to be quiet now. Yeah, yeah. A, st- a stealth mission. This is a stealth <laughs> mission. A stealth mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to take the yeah, water from the and take just point. splash you in the face. Uh, you can see like a split second of of soberness cross his face, and then it just slowly descends back into like a stupid face. <laughs> What you do that for? I'm gonna the grab him by his calling that. Quiet time. Now. Sober up. You know what always helps me, you know, sober up? Nice hot ember on your hand. A nice hot <laughs> ember on your hand? <laughs> Jeez. And yeah, he's just like. Yeah, yeah, I know you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it down. Yeah, so much excitement for it. He really wants it done. We need Mm. to move forward cautiously now. Okay, well, I I got him. You worry about being cautious and moving forward. (laughs) Moving forward cautiously. Are we just moving into the tree? It could hold secrets of Iltfell and where the entrance is. So I feel it may be necessary as it's the closest clue we have. But this is not something that should be done aggressively. Show us how it's done, please. I, I, I'm gonna pass. Pass. You're cautiously? I'm sure the expert, so. Stealth gonna, check? I'm gonna yeah, cast, roll stealth no, check. I'm going to cast past that tree as Sweet. So, I'm going to... 
Sixteen. Yeah, doing our our kind of oh, check on this immediate Plus area. That is. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> what are you looking for? Fourteen. It's a big ass tree, larger than all the other ones. See if it, there's any kind of spells lingering about. Okay. Go ahead and roll that arcana mm-hmm. check. Is there any giant deploying arcana check? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no giant on okay. it. Thirteen. You can see by the uh, the uh, red flames on either side of the door uh, carvings uh, carved straight out of the wood, large carvings, but you can't make out the specific shape. Hey, yeah, some red carvings on that wood over there. Anybody read it? Can I do? Can I inspect it? Mm-hmm. Are you guys? You're moving up. Sorry, what were your stealth rolls again? Sixteen. I need to, Sixteen. I remember that. Fourteen. Good thing you cast that faster. <laughs> would have been pretty fucked. Do you add anything to stealth besides the 10? <laughs> your dexterity. Oh, yeah, if it's you are got a 14. 3 <laughs> plus 10? Yeah, so 13. But, and Quenzel got a 4. So super surprising. <laughs> wow. I've never done this before. I'll follow your lead. Don't trip. We are walking forward. Stealthily. Okay, okay. Around Um, to the front of the entrance. Uh, As soon as you guys get into about... In the entrance... Um, ascends up as you can still see large roots passing through the um, all of the boulders collected on, on both sides and behind the tree um, about t- 30 feet away you start to hear like bassy breathing coming from inside of the the entrance to this this large tree and you can see, um, are you leading? Yeah. yeah. Roll perception check. Ooh, 14. You can see bodies, like arms and legs, uh, sticking out of the boulders in various places. And when you look up on the tree, you can almost, <laughs> you, you notice that the hundreds of yards up, there are shapes dangling. I just have the tree. I'm just gonna go just like that and I just go I point up. And you also um, the two lights on either side of the, the entrance, you see that emanating from those lights there are skulls. Uh, you don't know what shape or, or creature really, but you can definitely see the holes that the flames are coming out of and the carvings uh, around these skulls, make out the shape of uh, an animal of sorts. You can't quite make out what the animal is either. Can I make out what an animal is? Yeah, sure. Is that investigation? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do investigation. Twenty nine. Uh, getting closer, also being a, a druid, you almost notice these skulls immediately as bear skulls. Um, And the outlines make uh, the shape of bears in various positions. Like one 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 bear is like looks very um, active like two arms outstretched and, and very deadly and the other bear is, it's almost like it's falling. Uh, and that the shape, the carving starts above the skull, and you can see its bare arms leaning down like that. Uh, you also notice some, almost like 
a uh, no, so yeah, that's about as much you get if you're focusing on the bears. And how far away are we right now? Uh, I would say to get up closer, you're probably about 20 feet away from the, the entrance where the, the terrain starts to uh, elevate to meet the, the entrance that is honestly about 35 feet high um, the, uh, from the bottom of the entrance to the top of the entrance. Mm. Uh, I guess I'll whisper like, There's bodies up top or something. Look up. Charging and up. It, it, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> is there a point where there are no bodies? No body? Um, can I do another arcana check to see if there's any any magic in here or would that last one have covered this? So our arcana checks are, are not detect magic. You can't just like do I oh. sense any magic around. Arcana check checks are like you see a symbol or you see like a, a rock that has done something or you see um, it, it's really you basing an, an investigation off of something that you've seen or encountered. It's nothing of like let me sense the magical essence of this area. That's why detect magic exists. Um, okay. You can. Um, is there anything specific that you want to do an arcana check on? The ceiling. The ceiling? Yeah. There's no ceiling. Are you guys inside now? Is that. Do you think you're inside? <laughs> well, you were just looking into it? There's, there's we're not, rocks hanging we're, from we're the like tree. 20 feet away, and we were kind of huddled. Gather a plan. Maybe, Maybe there's a giant. This. Druid. Thank you. Does this. Does this area look like it's been disturbed recently? Can we just camp out and see what. What may be inhabiting this place? I'd like to cast the animals. Okay. And then I'm going to call out. Is anyone here? I'm not going to go in. Okay. Um, would you mind reading "Speak with Animals" really quickly, just so I understand the full extent to, of this? It says you gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration. The knowledge and awareness of many beasts is limited by their intelligence, but at minimum, beasts can give you information about nearby locations and monsters, including whatever they can perceive or have perceived within the past day. Okay, um, you hear uh, a rumble almost in tandem with the <laughs> uh, in, in tandem with the rumble coming from inside of the tree, and um, you hear flesh and meat and food arrives and speaks with us, and as as these. Uh, voices emanate from the tree, the skull of the closest bear um, almost extends out from the tree, and when the skull extends, the carving uh, gets smaller, and you can see bear arms come out of the carving, and skin and fur forms over the skull, and its eyes are burning uh, red still. And this is a pyre bear again. And he goes, Food presents itself to us. We're not food. We're not food. We're friends. Do you have an offering to the severed then? Why should we not fill our bellies? I'm gonna turn around and whisper to the group. What? I nod. Nod. I nod. We have an offering. We have an offering. Why are we offering him? Come over here. We have someone for you to meet. 
I'm not going over there. Are you crazy? He's There's no way I'm going over there. Animal, that's Quinzel, and he's, he's that's a, a big bear. And I would say roll of persuasion. I'm, I'm roll, standing in front of Roll a deception check with disadvantage. <laughs> I'm putting myself in between Quinzel. As, as yeah. her check and Thunky back away from oh. Quinzel. A four. I'm four. standing We're fully upright with my, my chest are you, bow you guys can't. Yeah. Thunky does. Yeah, are you so. guys crazy? That, that guy's scared. There's no way. There's no way. I'm taking out my axe. And, and he's, whole, he's, he's trying to find a place behind you, Vark, here. And, yeah, you just hear the... the <laughs> The bear has now fully left the tree, and you can see another one, or the other head, come out as skin and and fur forms around it. Right. Present themselves to us. Teeth need flesh to rip. Uh, there's... As they are now, they have now fully left the tree and are walking slowly down, and they're like interweaving each other as they're about ten feet away from you guys. Well, this two. Yes, I'm Where? casting. No, wait, they're pyre bears. Okay. Ask him if they eat giant. Do you eat giant? We serve giant. the giants, severed of this forest. You are our food now. And you guys all need to roll initiative. Can That's where we'll pick up next time. Terrible, no. ah! We're probably all gonna Sorry. die next time. So yeah, tune in next time <laughs> where we're dead. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching, assassins. What will happen next time on Assassins and Dragons? Will they escape the giant pyre bears protecting the domain of the potential giants? Will. Quenzel needs sacrifice to satisfy her check <laughs> and Thunky the Druid's the blood party. Find yeah. out next time on Assassins and Dragons. As always, until fate next, next brings, brings us together, together and never stop playing roleplay game.